that Jax is talking to strangers on Roblox in his room. What? He better not be. Jackson, are you talking to strangers on Roblox? No, I'm just talking to QDG63. What? Give me that. Hello, who is this? Oh, hey, son. Mom, is that you? Yeah, I'm a Visco girl. Hey, guys, my mom just gave me the last taritos. Here you go, Noah. Thanks, Jackson. And here you go, Chuck. Whoa, guava, I haven't had this flavor before. Well, those look like some tasty beverages. Oh, hey, Brayden. Well, come on, I'm thirsty. I'm sorry, Brayden, I only have three left. But you didn't give me anything last time, so if you do it again, that means you're bullying. And do I need to remind you that my mom's a lawyer? Brayden, I'm glad you brought that up. I was talking to my aunt, and turns out she works with your mom. Okay, and why do I care? What is she, some secretary? No, she's not a secretary. Her name's Kathy. Hmm, Kathy, doesn't ring a bell. Oh, that's right. I guess her official name is Judge Kathy. What? Ah, oh, man, normally I can do it a lot better. Jackson, you've never been that good at it. Let me try, okay? But real talk, I spun it for like a solid minute yesterday. There's no way you did it that long. You can't even do it for like 10 seconds. I did, I'll prove it. Whoops. Whoa, watch the shoes. Sheesh, my bad. Lil Rob, you're not even wearing shoes. Of course I'm not wearing these shoes. Do you know how much they cost? I don't know, like 50 bucks? 50 bucks? These are limited edition Travis Scott shoes. They're worth like three G's. Three G's? What, did you get a discount because they match your grills? No, but I did get a discount because I know a guy. I got him for like a hundred. Whoa, that's a pretty big discount. Are you sure they're real? Yeah, they're real. I don't wear none of that fake crap. Here, take a look yourself. Uh, Robbie, it looks like these real shoes are rubbing off on my hands. Hey guys, Grandma sent you some breakfast snacks. Yes, I love it when she sends snacks. Is it more cereal? It sure is. Here you go, Emma. Whoa, Pokemon cereal with marshmallows. All right, and here you go, Jackson. Whoa, a giant bag of Reese Puffs, my favorite. Oh, wait a second. It looks like this Pokemon cereal is for Jackson. What? Then what's my cereal? Ah, here it is. Multigrain rings. All right, kids, you have your partners for the safe competition? Yep, I brought Maddie. And I brought Chuck. Okay, so the prize is locked inside the safe, but first, you gotta find the key. Is there at least a clue? There sure is. When dreaming, it's always helpful to have your head in the clouds. Hmm, head in the clouds. Maybe it's something white and fluffy? I have an idea. Let's go to the kitchen. Cloud-like. Let's go to the sofa. Why? This definitely looks like a cloud to me. Now we just gotta open it up. Maddie, don't! Here, let's look through these marshmallows. No way, Jackson, I think I found something. Man, there's so much stuffing in here. Stop destroying the pillows! Wait, I think I found something. Oh, time's up. Let's see what you got. Mm, before I start eating my hot and fresh Chick-fil-A, does anybody want to trade? Oh man, I love Chick-fil-A fries. I'll trade for some. Ew, for what? A raw egg? Maybe I'll bring in some goat cheese tomorrow and trade you that. Hey man, do you want half my sandwich? No, it's okay. I have my sandwich in here. Oh, but since you offered, do you want a piece of candy? I have Reese's, Hershey's, and Kit Kats. What? I'll trade you some fries for a Kit Kat? No thanks. I'm not really in the mood for Chick-fil-A fries anymore, but I do still have this raw egg if you want that. Dad, Jackson's drinking with Chuck in his room. What? He better not be. Are you kids drinking in here? What? Chuck just brought a few over. What do you mean a few? Did you bring a six pack? It's just a 12 pack, Mr. Ryan. My mom bought them for us. Your mom bought them? Jackson, give them to me now. But I didn't even get to try lime. Really? Your mom is so fat when she goes camping, all the bears hide their food. Oh man, that's a good one. Well, hello, gentlemen. Do y'all have any more of those iced desserts? Oh, hey, Brayden. Don't worry, we have extras this time. Green? I wanted a blue one. Oh, I guess I'll take this. So, what are y'all playing? We're just joking around and telling your mama jokes. Oh, I love that game. Your mama's so fat, she's not a lawyer, but mine is. <laughs> That's not how the game works. You're supposed to come up with a creative joke, not whatever that was. Yeah, like, your mama's so fat, her blood type is spaghetti sauce. What? How dare you say that about my mother? I'm going to tell, and you're all going to get in trouble. Ah, these shoes are 100% authentic. You must have already had that crap on your hands. Okay, but it looks like there's also a Walmart tag on the inside. Man, you're just trying to make me look bad. If they fake, then why do they come in this Nike box? See, they are 100% authentic, just like his grills. See, this man gets it. That's what I'm talking about. Robbie Poo, it's time for your ballet practice. Oh, you better get to ballet practice. Nah, it's not ballet. That's just what she calls it. It's street dancing. Coming, Mom. Oh, and don't forget to take out those grills. Ooh, good looking out. See y'all later. Okay, so does anyone else want to go see his street dance recital? Oh, let's go. Ooh, liar, liar, pants on fire. That's one of the bad ones. What do you mean? What is it? Well, basically, if you tell a lie, your pants will keep getting hotter until you tell the truth or until they catch fire. What? How is that even legal? Hey, you're the one that chose the $500 curse. Hey, kids, does anybody know what happened to all the jaritos? I'm not sure, but why don't you ask Emma? I don't know what happened to them. Emma, are you okay? Do you need to go use the bathroom? I drank them all. I'm sorry. Well, no wonder you're hunched over after drinking all that soda. You're not drinking anything else except water for the rest of the week. <sighs> okay. Hey, kids, I'm getting ready to go shopping. Has anyone seen my purse? 
My mother's coming. You're in for it now. Which one of you bullies is making fun of my son? We're not. We're just telling your mama jokes. No, they said that you were so fat, your blood type spaghetti sauce. What? How dare you hooligans? Where's your father? Hey, I'm right here. You must be Brayden's mom. Nice to meet you. Um, no thanks. COVID. Oh, okay. My apologies. So, uh, what's going on? Your son and his delinquent friends are harassing my boy. No, they weren't. I was watching them. They were telling your mama jokes. How dare you make up these lies about my son? Maybe my aunt can come over and help sort all this out since she works with you. I don't think your aunt works with me. I don't work in fast food. Well, she did work at McDonald's to save up money to go to school before she became a judge. What? I think I found it in the pillow. So you actually think I ripped open a pillow, put a key in it, and sewed it up just for the scavenger hunt? Yeah, it's white and fluffy like a cloud. Well, I guess you have a point. What did you find? I found a bugle. A chip. You ripped open my pillows and found a chip. Great. Jackson, Chuck, what did y'all find? We found the key in the marshmallows. Great job. Now y'all get to open the mystery safe. Oh yeah, it sounds like it's filled with money. Man, I can't believe we didn't find the key. I know, I really thought it was gonna be in the- Whoa, what's this? Hey, that's my babysitter Tiffany's credit card. I think you mean was her credit card. Hey kids, I'm getting ready to go shopping. Has anyone seen my purse? Yeah, I had it over here. Here you go. Thanks, but why did you already have my purse? Oh, I just, uh, know that you needed it. Really? So that's why you had it? Yeah, I mean, uh, I took it to my Robux cards. Young lady, that's it. You're grounded from all electronics and internet for the rest of the week. Man, could this day get any worse? Hey, I let Chuck and Noah and everyone's outside. You want to come play Truth or Dare? Oh, no. My aunt is Judge Kathy. She is? Well, we don't need to turn this little misunderstanding into a big problem. We accept your apology. But we didn't know. Come on, Brayden. Let's go home. But, Mom. Sheesh. Maybe we should go chill in the backyard and get some privacy. Good idea. Well, at least it should be a little quieter back here. They think they can just get rid of me that easy? I think this is their fence. What? Brayden, is that you? Yes, now open this door. I can't. It's locked. Clearly, so unlock it. My dad said we can't have any more people back here. Maybe you can come over next time. Fine, if you're not going to let me in, I'll just get in myself. No, don't do that. This fence is really old. Almost there. <laughs> Brayden, are you okay? Ow, I think I broke my leg. Call my mother. Finally, summer school is over. And what's that, a participation trophy? No, it's actually for most improved. Really, and you got it? Yes, you're not the only one to get special awards around here. <laughs> hey, Emma, nice trophy. Thanks, Dad. I never thought you'd actually have one to put in your section. What? I mean, uh, do you want to go out and get some ice cream? Ooh, yes. Can I come? No, not this time, but we'll bring you back some. Okay. Hey, Jackson, have you seen Emma? Yeah, she just left to go get some ice cream. Oh, okay. Do you know if she picked up my award? Guys, thank God you're outside. Noah, dude, you missed an epic sleepover last night. Yeah, sorry you weren't able to come, but at least you were able to text us all night. That's what I ran over here to talk to you guys about. It was so fun talking about all the things we've gotten away with at school. You must have been so tired last night. You acted like you didn't even remember half the things we were talking about. I know, that's because it wasn't me you guys were texting. What? What do you mean? I got in trouble yesterday and my parents took away my phone. Wait, if it wasn't you, then who are we texting the whole night? And Noah, why did you run over here so fast? Jackson, is your father home? Gracie! Hey, have you guys seen a brown dog with a pink collar? No, I haven't seen anything. You got a dog? Yeah, I just got her. She's a chocolate lab puppy. She's only like this big. Did you just lose her? Yeah, I opened the door and didn't see her at my feet. She started running off this way. Oh man, I can come help you look for her. And I'll keep my eye out around here in case she comes back. Okay, thank you. <laughs> no way, a collar. Hey Emma, I found a puppy in the bushes. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. That must be Gracie. What'd you say? I couldn't hear you. Uh, nothing. Let's keep her. Hey, Brayden, I just called your mom. She's on the way over. And here, I got you some more ice. Thanks, Jackson. Maybe you guys aren't that bad. Where's my son? Calm down. He's okay. He's right here. Oh, my poor baby. What did they do to you? Now, wait a second. The kids didn't do anything to him. Then what happened? He slipped while he was climbing the fence trying to sneak into my backyard. What? Brayden, is that true? Well, technically... Because of their lying, we're gonna sue. They pushed me off the fence. What? I hope you're ready to go to court. Come on, Brayden. Hey, Aunt Kathy, we need some help. Hey guys, I just got off the phone with dad. Mom had the twins. Great, when are they coming home? Dad said they're working on the paperwork now, but they should be out later today. I can't believe we're finally gonna meet them. Did they pick their names? They named the girl Isabella and the boy Jacob. Jacob and Isabella, I like it. Henry, since you're still in charge, is it okay if I run and tell Maddie real quick? Yeah, that's fine. Just be back quick so you don't miss the babies. Okay. Maddie, you'll never guess what just happened. What, you finally passed your math SOL? No, of course not. My mom just had the twins. No way, what did she name the little girl? Isabella. Oh, Isabella? Interesting. What do you mean, interesting? Nothing. Isabella is a popular name because of Encanto. You know, the sister that's perfect and beautiful and everybody loves her the most.
Oh, hey, Noah's mama. What brings you here? I just needed to talk to your dad about something really quick. Is he home? Uh, no, he's not right now, but uh, can I take a message for him? Oh, he's not? Isn't that his car over there? I mean, I meant to say he's not really feeling well right now. Oh, my. Well, tell him I hope he feels better soon. I will. And here, just tell him to give me a call. We're planning the neighborhood cookout. Cookout? So you didn't come over here to talk about our text messages? What messages? Oh, that reminds me. Noah, you can have your phone back when it's done charging. Maddie was up on it all night playing games. Yeah, thanks, Noah. They were really entertaining. She's such a cute puppy. We should probably start looking around the neighborhood to see if we can find her home. No, I mean, she doesn't even have a collar. She's probably a wild dog. Really? Does this look like a wild dog to you? Here, let me see her. I'm going to go take her to the back room. Why? What are you going to do? I'm going to take some pictures with her so we can make fires to pass out. Good idea. I'm going to go call the local shelters. Man, we've looked everywhere. I can't believe I lost my dog. Hey, Chuck, don't beat yourself up. There's still a lot of places we can look. I'm sure she'll come up somewhere. Hey, look, Gracie's collar. Whoa, maybe she ran in the cornfield. Let's go look. Oh, no, they found the collar. Now they're going to come take the dog. Unless they can't find the dog. Oh, hello, Mark. Oh, great. What do you want now? I just finished writing up the warrant to set our court date. What? Look, I'm sorry your kid got hurt, but he wasn't even on our side of the fence. You may say he wasn't, but he says he was. Yeah, and you don't even have cameras, so it's my word against yours. What seems to be the problem here? Yes, Aunt Kathy. Hello, Judge. My little boy got hurt because these monsters pushed him off the fence. Now, my little sweet nephew wouldn't do anything like that. Do you have any proof? What do you mean, proof? Look at his arm. Well, I guess we'll have to review the footage. You can't because there isn't any. He doesn't have a camera. No, he doesn't, but the neighbors do. Wait, so you think they're not going to love me anymore? No, I shouldn't have said that. It's a really pretty name. Uh, what was your birth name again? Helga. Oh, yeah, that's really pretty, too. It looks like it's starting to rain. Let's go to my house. Man, so you're about to be a big brother. Yeah, but I already am. Not much is going to change. Yeah, but you and Emma are only like a year apart. These are babies, so you're gonna have to like change their diaper and feed them and stuff. Ooh, no I won't. Yeah, you will. I did with you and Emma. Okay, so I'll change a few diapers. It's not like that's life-changing. Are you kidding? You and Emma changed every aspect of my life. What do you mean? Well, for example... Hey, I think your parents just pulled in. We're here. Did we miss anything? No, they just pulled in. Shh. Come on, hon. Welcome back. Shh. She's sleeping. What's wrong with you? Hey, mom. What are all these kids doing here? Tell them to go home. Hey guys, y'all can come back another time. Your father and I are very tired, so we're gonna go upstairs and take a nap while they're sleeping. Man, do you think it's always gonna be like this? I sure hope not. What? The neighbors have a camera? They sure do, and I already messaged them to ask for the footage. But it's all the way over there. I doubt I can see this area over here. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it can. Oh, look at that. I already got the footage. Well, if it can see this area over here, then good. It can show how your boys knocked my son off the fence. Uh, Mom, actually, here it is. Just let me zoom in here. There he is climbing the fence, and oh, there he goes. Well, this should be a pretty easy case. Give me that. I mean, we don't need to take this to court. I mean, after all, we are neighbors. We are, but maybe you should teach your boy not to lie. That's a very good idea. What? But you're the one that told me to zip it, Brayden. Uh, okay, y'all have a nice day. You're still out here sitting? What are you waiting for? Nothing. Leave me alone. Go play with Chuck or something. Hey, Jackson, our mail got mixed up again. It looks like this is for your dad. Give me that. Sheesh, what's going on with her? Emma, why are you being so rude to Chuck? What's your problem? I'm sorry, I ordered this online and dad doesn't know about it. And if he found out, it would not be good. Really? What did you get? It's a man's razor? Sweet, it looks like my razor's finally here. Gracie! Man, I don't see her anywhere. Me neither, man, and I don't see any signs of a dog. I guess we should head back up to the house. Okay, Gracie, time to become blonde. But I guess we should come up with a new name first. How do you like Hillary? What are you doing to that dog? Nothing. I was just, uh, testing her sense of smell. No, you were trying to paint that dog, but why would you... <gasps> you know whose dog it is, don't you? Well, I... Hey, you found Gracie, but why are you holding paint? She was trying to paint your dog so she could keep it. I'm sorry, Chuck, but she's just so cute. I'll make it up at your birthday next week. No, you won't because you're no longer invited. Hey, Henry, can you drive me to go get a PS5? Huh, <laughs> good one. I don't have $500 laying around. I'm not asking you to buy it for me. I just need you to drive me. I already have the money saved up. Oh, really? Yeah, I've been saving up my birthday and Christmas money. I should have $562.35. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. What are you laughing at? You actually think that all your birthday and Christmas money is saved up somewhere? Yes, Mom and Dad put it in my piggy bank. Go ahead and grab it. All right, let me grab you this piggy bank that just happens to be on a high shelf out of your reach. Look. What? 63 cents in IOU?
Hey, Emma, how was your first day of school? It was good. All my teachers are really nice. Good thing you don't have Mr. Williams anymore. Do you think you're going to pass all your classes? Yeah, everything looks really easy except for math. Oh, I almost forgot. The school supply list. Oh, okay. Calculator, paper. What? You need a laptop? Yeah, the school's funding got cut because of bad testing. Man, I'm going to have to get a second job just so you can keep going to school. Go work on your homework. Okay. Hey, Dad, I got my... I know, your school supply list. I just saw your sister's. Well, it's not bad. I basically already have everything except a couple of folders. Wait, you don't need a laptop? No, the school has like hundreds. We just rent them out when we need them. What, Emma? Hey, Miss Thompson, I brought you this nice pen. Oh, why, well, thank you, Robert. That's very kind of you. I told you it's not Robert, it's Lil' Robbie. Okay, Lil' Robbie, I'll call you what you prefer, but you need to straighten up your hat and put on your tutu. Oh, come on, do I have to? You know the rules. Elegance and grace begin with presentation. Okay, how does this look? Beautiful. Now let's begin our breathing exercises. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Hey guys, come to the supply closet. You can see the class through the window. No way. Now we just gotta take a few quick photos. I can't believe he's actually wearing a tutu. This is so great. Hey, what are y'all doing in here? Hey, Dad, do you want to arm wrestle? Are you sure? I'm a lot bigger than you. You might lose. Yeah, I'm sure. I carry like five books at school all day. I can totally take you. Okay, are you ready? Yep, bring it. Go! Uh, uh, oh, you're starting to get me. Uh, uh, wow, I guess you are stronger than me. Okay, Dad, my turn. Are you ready? I was born ready. Let's go, old man. Okay. Ow, what? How did she beat you? I guess she's just stronger. Oh, you must have gotten poison ivy while we were playing in the backyard. No, I think I got it while we were watching movies on my computer. So, you were sneaking out to Maddie's house while you were grounded. Just one time to watch Jurassic World. Maddie, how did you get it all over your face? I'm not sure. Probably because I kept putting my hands over my face while I was watching the movie. Oh, is Jurassic World that scary? No, Jurassic World wasn't, but the black phone was. What? You stuck out to watch a rated R movie? Oh, yeah. I forgot about that one. You were grounded. Oh, hey, Dad, we were just, uh, watching the class and taking notes. Really? But if you're just taking notes, why is your camera out? Well, because we... And is that the little neighbor boy? Oh, it is. I didn't even notice. What's all this commotion doing inside my studio? Oh, sorry, miss. Miss Thompson, these boys were just admiring your class and would like to sign up. What? Sorry, Mr. Ryan, I'd love to, but I don't have any money with me. Oh, that's okay, Chuck. I'll pay for you and Noah. Oh, how exciting. This is perfect timing. We needed extras for our fall recital next week. Uh, Miss Thompson, where exactly is this recital going to be? Is it going to be in, like, a local church or something? Oh, of course not. It's going to be at the upcoming school assembly. Oh, no. Are you coming in or what? Um, I think I'll just stay out here for a little while. But it's kind of chilly. Why don't you just come in? Well, I kind of hit someone at school today and got sent to the principal's office. You hit someone? It was an accident, but I'm pretty sure they called home. Emma, get in here. Why did you hit someone at school today? It was an accident, but she is the class bully. Well, I've invited her and her mother over so we can discuss this accident. What? Why would you do that? Miss Anderson wants to make sure this gets resolved. Miss Anderson's coming over too? Yeah, she's her mother. Hey, Dad, can I have my allowance? No, because you didn't change the trash. You just pushed it down. What? How do you know that? Because I put this under the bag. You would have found it if you changed it. Wait, so if I would have found that money while I was doing my chore, I could have kept it? Yep. Hey, Dad, I found some money while doing the laundry. Can you take me to the store? No, that's my money for my pants. Give it back. But you said if I found money while doing a chore, I could keep it. Yeah, but I meant... <sighs> Fine, let's go. Hey, Chuck, I have $5. Do you want it or do you want me to double it and give it to somebody else? You can double it and give it to somebody else. Hey, Noah, I have $10. Do you want it or do you want me to double it and give it to somebody else? You can double it. Hey, Emma, I have $20. Do you want it or do you want me to double it and give it to somebody else? You can double it. I'm feeling generous today. Oh, wow. Didn't see that one coming. Hey, Maddie, I have $40. Do you want it or do you want me to double it and give it to the next person? Ooh, I'll take it. All right, here you go. Thank you. Hey, Maddie, did it work? It sure did. 20 for you and 20 for me. Hey, I just finished wrapping the presents. How's the decorating coming? Great, I just finished. Check it out. Let's party. Get it? Party like a paw? But Emma, this party's for Grandma. I know, that's why I did it dog theme. She loves her dog more than she loves us. But Emma, Mia's gone. Remember, Grandma didn't have her glasses on when she was driving. Oh my gosh, I forgot about that, but it's okay. We still have time to change it. Oh, look at all these beautiful decorations. Emma, did you do this for me? Uh, yeah. Oh, how sweet. Let me put my glasses on so I can see it better. What? What are you doing down here? Hey, Dad, I couldn't sleep, so I came to lay on the sofa. Well, the sofas are sitting, not for sleeping. Go back to your room. Hey, Dad? Dad? <sighs> Never mind. Gummy bears! Oh, thank goodness. It was just a dream. Emma, are you okay in here? I heard you make a noise. Yeah, Dad, I'm fine. It was just a bad dream. Oh, you poor thing. Here, let's take Lizzie and go back to the room. Mom and I are watching Netflix. 
I don't get it. How am I supposed to add them? You can't yet. Look, you still have to find the common denominator. What? It still doesn't make any sense. Hey, Emma, Maddie's at the door. She is. Dad, can I please take a little break? <sighs> okay, but only for five minutes. You have a test on this tomorrow. Thanks, I'll be quick. Hey, Maddie, I can't come out right now. I'm still working on my math homework. That's why I'm here. I heard you got a copy of the test from last year. I do. I got it from Leroy. Well, can I see it? Yeah, that's right. Oh, no. Even I don't know half this stuff. Hey, what's this? 